What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Chapter. You're getting better at that. Coming at you <laughs> with another entry. This is entry number four. Is that correct? Why does he yeah. start when, right when I'm hitting? I don't know. Damn. Entry number four, which makes this June 4th, 2024, at least for another few minutes. We uh, had a late night. We uh, were doing, working on projects and, and talking about future endeavors and stuff like that with other folks and you know, nothing I can really talk about because I don't know what the hell they were talking about. So, <laughs> um, I am president elect for the West Texas New Mexico Floral Association. So, um, I'll be inducted in August as the president. And I kind of had a panic attack last week. And so I just needed somebody to talk me through it and work out some of the questions and make sure that I wasn't behind, behind wow. on my jobs for this year because this year I'm programs coordinator and uh turns out I am behind on a couple jobs that I didn't know were my job oh. so well, it's fine. At least it's you, fine at least you figured it out and it wasn't like the week before and be like well it's my job to make the schedule which I didn't know because <laughs> the last time that I did this job I did not make the schedule you did not know that it was my job to make the schedule so he asked me hey do you have the schedule and I was like no no. What fucking schedule? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> and he very politely, because he loves me so much, was like, well, technically Not that's your job. And I was like, oh, okay. shit. Oops. I'll say. get on that. Right Sorry. On that. So, yeah, she was on the phone with him for a little bit, and I was just in there just looking up. I found a really cool gluten-free, uh, sugar-free, low-carb bread it's a uh flaxseed bread it's pretty much you, you make the bread as is but then you add ingredients that make it sugar-free and gluten-free and all that stuff and then you add whatever like herb or seed that you want so i was like well all we have is flaxseed so i can just flaxseed it up in that bitch so um might be something that i do just to test it out see if it's any good if it's as good as the banana bread that i made I'm sure it'll be pretty good. The banana bread's really good. We, uh, now I'm just chilled most of the day, you know. I built a shelf. My, uh, new shelving unit is built, but I did not have the energy or the wherewithal to, uh, alphabetize and put all my media in that shelf. Uh, the shelf gave me fits. She had to step in a couple of times. She's like, just let me know when you need help. I'm like, I need help. She's like, are you grumpy? I'm like, I'm not grumpy. I'm just a little mad. <laughs> I want to get this shit done because I was working on the doors for like an hour and the doors weren't budging. He was having issues with the hinges. I was. The hinges were unhinged. And uh, so she got the doors on. I was like, hell yeah. And then it turns out I skipped a couple of steps on accident. So I had to, I put the shelving on, but then there was like a little like thing in the back that levels it, make sure it doesn't like fall off or tossle. And uh, so I just pop those in, pop it in, pop it in, because there was three shelves I had to do that on. I was like, I'm done, I'm done. No, I'm not, because I still have to have it. handles. Damn it. So I was doing the handles, and that took me a minute. And, but uh, like I said, I'll show you guys when it's all put together. Hopefully have it done by the end of the uh, month, because I want to show you guys that and show you all the plant stand and stuff eventually. Um, but uh, other than that, I just ate and played Madden, and while I was putting the shelves together, I watched three movies. Well, two and a half. I watched Goodfellas, Tommy Boy, and Black Sheep, which I've seen all three of those movies countless times, and I love those movies. But uh, the question today, speaking of movies, was what is your favorite movie soundtrack? I had too many to name, um, but I went with uh, Trick or Treat, uh, one of my dad's favorites. He showed it to me at a very young age he showed me the cheesy 80s movie that it was the funniest thing was the promotions and the dvd case because back in the day this will give you a little bit of nostalgia too you had to special order things at at hastings to get it shipped from the distribution center to the actual uh store so my dad couldn't get trick-or-treat on dvd so we had to special order it and he's like uh he's like shows it to me and on the cover is gene simmons and ozzy osbourne who are both in the movie for like that long 
but it's like, hey, this movie has Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne in it. Gene Simmons plays a radio DJ, and Ozzy Osbourne plays a televangelist. So, <laughs> it's it's funny. Gene kind of fits his character, but Ozzy is definitely out of place, and he's just like, oh, this is satanic music, and we should not be. So this society should not be listening to the satanic music. Can you just the way that he does it? But you can tell he's just like biting the heads off bats and shit. I you forgot, forgot you had tea. tea. <laughs> she ain't gonna spill it, but she's gonna drink really it. Excited. But Trick or Treat, the entire soundtrack was done by Fast Wave, which was the uh, front man of the band was Fast Eddie, who was previously in Motorhead with God, aka Lemmy. Everybody calls Lemmy God. It's like uh, an airheads. Who'd win in a Who'd win in an arm wrestle? God or Lemmy? Lemmy. Trick question. Lemmy is God. <laughs> so, what the hell? Is My cat is sniffing me. Well, you're sniffing me. And then, no, it's Amari. Oh, Amari was sniffing me, and then she went to you. She, so, what are you doing, you weirdo? Damn, I thought weirdo. I didn't know. I thought something was crawling on me. No, it was just her little whiskers. Chandler, whiskers. leave her alone. So, uh, yeah, trick She's or allowed treat. To love me too. Uh, honorable mention is Guardians of the Galaxy one and two. Both of those are fantastic. Uh, I love the Batman Forever soundtrack. I love Grease, Dazed and Confused. Uh, <laughs> there are too many to name, so I just named one that was kind of like off the wall that people were like, "Huh, you wouldn't think about that one," because you know, obviously, Guardians one and two are too obvious. And Grease, everybody loves the Grease soundtrack. At least one or two songs off that album. Um, but yeah, uh, today's TikTok was, uh, I did a kind of like a overreaction of the uh, train mission for uh, San Andreas. So I did my own little thing. I almost just died. You know, it's funny because for some reason, that is the mission that everybody gets stuck on. Everybody just wants to throw their controller they want to, you know, just to hell with technology and they just want to go die in a hole or something like that because that mission, you probably don't know what I'm talking about with that mission. You have to, uh, you're on a bike and you're you're riding the bike, you're driving the bike and then your friend uh, Big Smoke, who is a big guy, um, is shooting a rival gang on top of the train. And while that's happening, you have to, you know, keep, up you got to keep up side by side and then there's eventually another train that's coming there's a hill you got to go up on there's a and then you got to like you know do a serpentine and go to the other side of the train eventually if you don't kill them in time and then the road eventually runs out so you got a time limit you got obstacles you got them shooting at you you got another train you got a hill and another hill it's just uh there's a special place in hell for whoever was the main <laughs> main uh, developer for that level, and uh, I'm not I'm not alone in that sentiment. I'm sure anybody that's played San Andreas also shares that sentiment for sure. Um, nothing really much else to talk about. Um, I forgot to mention this, but uh, I am golding. I'm golding. I am going for the Nuggets in the championship. Uh, you beat my Lakers, you better go all the way. That's usually my my go-to statement with wh whichever team beats my team to get to the championship, I'm like, you sons of bitches better win the entire thing. Because it always upsets me when, like, the Cowboys lose to, like, the Packers or something like that in the playoffs, and then the Packers go on and lose the Super Bowl. I'm just like, <sighs> you know, stuff like that. Or, uh, so, technically I should be rooting for Florida to win the Stanley Cup, but uh, because my buddy Lane is a big... Uh, Knights fan, I'm actually going for Las Vegas to win their championship. Be kind of cool because that franchise has only been in existence for like three years, and if they can get a championship within like the next like their first three years, that's pretty freaking good. That's pretty awesome. Um, no, no new questions, no new comments, concerns, or anything like that. So we're gonna make this a quick one because I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. I'm sure she wants to do the exact same that's my fault to be and, fair uh, i thought he already recorded it and i was um, like i wanted to do it with you and now i got a mosquito bite on my arm that's why i keep like scratching because it, uh, it's irritating me but uh yeah two in you a row didn't talk about my awesome dessert that i made oh yeah or, or the awesome dinner i spent all day in the kitchen while he was building the, the shelf. shelf go for it no i want you to brag on me the dessert was delicious. It was a strawberry yogurt, cream cheese, strawberry uh, protein, uh, 
protein powder. Uh, it was pretty fucking fantastic, if I should say so myself. Uh, she was like, oh, we got enough for tomorrow. And I'm, I was like, mm, do we know? Because I think I'm going to devour all that shit. Because it was fantastic. <laughs> and then she made me a... Uh, a better version of a Mexican pizza tostada, pretty much is what it was. She it was filled, just a tostada. It was a tostada, but I got well. It was a stacked tostada. It was, it was a, I got huge Mexican pizza vibes because, um, and it was like a you better listen, Taco Bell, a like a breakfast Mexican pizza because you put an egg on top of it. It's and, the best way. And it was. I mean, I I love eggs with you know enchiladas and stuff like that. So that was great. Um, and then for lunch, we had leftovers, which she made a, what she called it, what do you call that? A, like fried rice slop. Is that what you called it? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> so I accidentally overcooked the rice a little bit. So, I mean, it just, you know, when you fry rice, you want the, the crispy edges. And I cooked it to that point, And then I cooked it five minutes longer. So then it was mushy. Which I like. That's fine. It was fine. Just it was better it. today. But the tostadas were definitely my favorite. Because I had beans in the crock pot all day. And I had carne adobada that I made with red chili. And pork chops that I diced. And a bunch of seasonings. And fried corn tortillas. And put cheese on them. And then put a fried egg on top. And those are the best fried eggs I've ever made too. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I just got lucky. Yeah, I just cut into it. And I just... just when it just oozes over everything, it's like, it was perfect. Perfect everything, down to the last minute details. It was fantastic. I'd be okay if I could spend every day in the kitchen, though. Oh, yeah. I love cooking. Fish don't fry in the kitchen. And that's not a sexist joke. She's saying that herself. Yeah, no, I, I She love enjoys it. cooking. I also enjoy cooking. Which, speaking of which, we're talking, you know, you heard it here first. As I take an obnoxious sip of water. Um, this fall, I believe I'm going to do this fall, um, I'm going to start doing Pork Chops Kitchen this fall, which I'm very excited about. I already have my first thing that I want to do and potentially my second thing I want to do. So, uh, I'll tell her off camera so I don't spoil the surprise <laughs> for y'all, but, uh, very, very excited, very, very interested. Um, something that I'm like, you know, I'm actually kind of good at this cooking thing and I'm sure if yes. I can find like a copycat recipe of a certain dish or sauce or whatever it's like i could probably do that and probably do it you know a little healthier a little bit you know health conscious type of way um because there are certain things i'm looking at it's like you know this is like three cups of sugar you gotta add to this i'm like no nah, hard pass hard pass hard pass not three cups of sugar um even though it's like eight servings or whatever uh three cups of sugar that's that's too freaking much for that so we do have the alternative, the stevia, um, which we use for like coffee and baking and stuff like that. So it's a it's a good alternative. I prefer sweet and low myself, but they don't make sweet and low in the giant freaking things. You got to do each individual packet. Each they make individual. the great value sweet and low in the giant things, but yeah, it's do, just not they? the same. I know it's like if you can at least get like a like a square. Like, you know, something, I mean, I know this is totally different, like a liquid wise, but something like this big, just with sweet and low, and you just find a way to, you know, pour it out, kind of like you do with like a, like Morton salt, you know, you just flip the tab, and you just, kind of like you do with coffee creamer, just do that with, but with sweet and low, but now y'all gotta be some stingy sons of bitches, and y'all only do the packets, it's like, you know, dropping, you know, it's like me doing this in the ocean, just, at that, at that gonna take forever to get where i want to go with that so uh anyway didn't mean to go on a tangent about sweet and low he feels very strongly i feel very this. passionate when i feel passionate about something i will i will talk about it i'm going to talk about football or xylitol or sweet and low packets you know these are these are things that that worry me and upset me so these know. are the important things yeah it's like life. you know the important stuff but uh anyway guys like i said earlier uh i'm out of here we're out of here. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. Had a long do-nothing day, if that makes any sense at all. But uh, I'll definitely talk to you all tomorrow. And uh, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets call it Porcha. Loves you all the most. So I'll take it easy, guys. And like I said, see you all manana. Bye, guys. Starting Monday. Oh,